World Health Organization has sounded an alarm and that means we are looking possibly at the next pandemic. But not so soon. Hey, we just came out of a disastrous pandemic, right? So many people lost lives and we don't want another pandemic, right? In this lifetime for sure, no ways, right? So, we need to talk about monkeypox virus research and how technology such as artificial intelligence and machine learning and deep learning and of course bioinformatics can help us beat this virus. Now, to start with, you all know what is monkeypox virus. It's a zoonotic disease. It has jumped from an animal to a human thanks to we not following the One Health program, right? So monkeypox, uh, also known as MPXV, is a double standard of DNA virus belonging to the orthopox virus genus which also includes cowpox, smallpox and vaccinia viruses. Now this was first identified in monkeys in 1958 among those monkeys which were kept for research in the in a lab in Denmark and then the first human case was recorded in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of Congo so of course Africa. Now, the way it transmits is human to human, which will be uh, primarily through close physical contact, respiratory droplets, remember coronavirus, and contact with bodily fluids and lesions. Now, animal to human contact also happens, that is, animal to human transmission also happens, that is called a zoonotic transmission. So, that happens through the contact with infected animals, particularly rodents and primates, and this includes hunting, handling, and consuming meat of these animals. Now, of course, uh, sexual transmission also uh, can cause this. The 2022 outbreak highlighted the role of sexual contact, particularly among men who have sex with men as a significant transmission route. But now, why are we looking at this at, as a scale of a pandemic and not just epidemic is because traditionally it was supposed to be endemic to Central and West Africa with two primary clades and that is Central Africa and clade 2 was West Africa. Now, the global outbreak was seen in May 2022 where we saw uh, such cases spreading to 117 countries by 2023. Now, this was predominantly affecting men engaged with sexual contact with other men and affected populations uh, were uh, living with HIV and cases have also been reported in children in these endemic regions. Now, the symptoms vary from fever, headache, muscle aches, back pains, swollen lymph nodes and chills. But the most important thing now is as it is spreading, we need to curtain it because if we don't, it has got a significant chance of growing to the global proportions and of course, locking us back into our dormitories. So to avoid that, of course, uh, WHO has released a 48-page strategy which needs to be followed by all the countries to make this happen and uh, some of them is obviously quick diagnosis and treatment, vaccination, public health measures and uh, a lot of things. But I am particularly interested in how the research side of uh, WHO, the, so there, there's a research arm of WHO and of course all, a lot of countries are also collaborating in combating the monkeypox virus and recently we were asked by one of uh, the companies to also work in this direction. So, what can be the possible role of AI, ML, and bioinformatics in this direction that we have to talk today? Now, to start with, of course, if the moment we have AI, ML, the first thing which comes in our mind is epidemiology. How it is spreading, what is the pattern, and how can we control it? So, that's the number one, surveillance and prediction. So, AI, ML can be used uh, to predict the outbreaks and analyze the epidemiological data. We can find the pattern and then we can break that pattern, right? So that's just number one, which we can use using AI ML. The second, obviously, using AI ML and, uh, and bioinformatics, we can uh, accelerate the identification of potential vaccine candidates and therapeutic option. We can also get into drug optimization, drug repurposing as well. And of course, we can also get into genomic analysis using bioinformatics. So we can use bioinformatics tools to track the viral mutations and understand the evolution of viruses. Now, this uh, more or less uh, uh, is definitely going to help us, but the challenges always remain. So today it is mon monkeypox virus Tomorrow, it could be some other virus. So, the only way to stop this is one health. So, we have to respect the boundaries which we have for animals and humans. And we have to make sure that this zoonotic transmission 
should not happen and there should be research on, ongoing research is obviously going on so research should be done to to better understand how these uh, viruses are jumping from animals to uh, humans and how can we stop it and how can we reduce the spillover events okay so of course uh, these are the pointers which i wanted to share with you all today now one important thing which i would like to highlight here today for all of you is it is a rare but potentially serious disease so we let us not take it lightly if in case you are interested in any kind of research on monkey box using artificial intelligence machine learning or bioinformatics feel free to contact us because our team is already researching on it and remember uh, for you know, people who are from the general population this can be controlled through vaccination and safe practices it is not as serious as coronavirus uh, uh, pandemic but definitely we need to be careful we need to be mindful of what we do and we have to seek medical attention if the symptoms are developing so this is all i wanted to share with you all uh, today in this video now if you have any questions or concerns or anything you would like to know in particular about monkeypox uh, research so feel free to contact in the description in the chat box and the comment box and i'll definitely contact you back thank you take care bye bye